Hi, I'm Maddie. And I'm Mimi. Um, and we are from Osaurus Studios, and we're going to have a little chat about some of the art that he's been doing for Call of the Golden Valley. <laughs> um, so, you're not from Australia. Nope. Uh, you're from Malaysia. <laughs> yep. <laughs> um, country Australia is very different than city Australia. Uh, how, how was it recreating country Australia? I know that was a pretty big ask of you. It was very stressful in the beginning and very difficult because I don't really have much experience of like regional Victoria or like regional Australia and not even bothering like going to forests and stuff. Um, but my team, our team is very helpful. Um, they, we, we have a field trip to, I think it's Marysville. Yeah, Marysville. Then. And we have like a really nice day in Marysville and then go for a short hike into a forest. That's just a lot of fun and I get to ex experience like what it's like to be in regional Victoria and to hold lots of photos for reference down the way. Um, so yeah, it's very helpful. What was the thing from that trip that like surprised you the most of like, oh, I didn't know they had <laughs> this here? It's definitely more shock than a surprise, but it's like the liches. Um, I know that there's a possibility of seeing liches in the forest because how humid the forest is, but uh, imagining it and seeing it in real life is just so different, especially so when it, yeah, liches onto like Ben's food or something, <laughs> it's just creepy, but yeah. Yeah, that was, that was pretty <laughs> yeah. Um, So can you walk us through how you go from very broad briefs of <laughs> like, this needs to look like regional Victoria. Um, to actually some of the environments that we see uh, in in the game um, and also the characters yep. as well. So I started with like getting lots of photos on the field trip and also Maddie Yu put together like a bunch of reference images for me so that's very helpful and I started like by sorting them out into different categories like is it for Maurice's room, is it for the gas farmhouse mm -hmm. and then I started like having like uh, blocking the whole scene out so like how big is the space supposed to be and then start like adding primitive shapes to block out like each of the items getting like a list of items that I need to model and then I go into like model each and every little things um, it's definitely like a back and forth process because I need to send it to Maddie and then get feedback and then like refine stuff and then send it for feedback again um, but that, I guess that's just how modeling a game environment works and it applies to the characters as well. So, yeah. Yeah. The farmhouse, I remember we had so much trouble with that because um, I had sent Yi some reference photos, but it's not until you try to recreate something that like you, you really have to understand every bit of it. And I remember yes. we were having the problems roof. with how the roof met the house. Yeah. Yeah and how the roof went over the porch and um, I was working at home that day and I live in a, not a farmhouse, it's in the city, but my house is a fairly old Australian house on a street full of fairly old Australian houses and I just like went outside with my phone camera and was like taking pictures of like people's gutters and like porches and really hoping that no one was gonna call the police. Yeah, we, we got there in the school. end. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Because when you were like, oh, I don't know how it works, I was like, oh, just give it to me, like, I'll, I'll fix it, it'll be really quick. And then I opened up the Blender file and was like, oh, I don't know how this works either. Yeah. And then we also got, like, the reference of, like, how big the car parking is supposed mm. to be from Ben. This is funny. Oh, yeah, the wheelbase of a yeah. car to figure out how far away, um, how far apart to, like, make the, the tracks yeah. in the dirt. Yeah, we, you've learned all sorts of interesting <laughs> things, haven't you? Australian stuff. <laughs> yeah. Um, so of the four NPCs, uh, which was your favorite <laughs> and why? It is Gaz, surprisingly, yeah. and not surprisingly, because he's the first character that I work on on the project. And I haven't been modeled a lot of like, realistic looking character in a while, so he's kind of like a practice run for me to get back into model like human. Um, and also, he's like the first human character animated for this project, so it's just a lot of fun. And I really like animating him, like trying to fix the pipe. <laughs> it's yeah. just funny. Yeah. It's funny. Um, also, I remember with Gaz, <laughs> we had so many conversations about his stomach. Yeah, yeah. And how like high up or like low, like his, his belly is meant to sit. Um, and 
it on my big monitor. I was like trying to Google without like, shall we say, getting things I didn't want to see, like male fat distribution <laughs> to send more references. Cause also I couldn't figure out quite why it was wrong. And people like walked behind me and they're like, what are you doing right now? Cause it's all these like overweight men in their underwear up on the screen. <laughs> I was like, it's for art. Yes, it's for art, I promise. Um, was there anything that you found was more difficult than you anticipated? Yep, definitely. Like the grooming, like adding hair to a gang character. I never thought I would be that difficult because I've been like making hairs for characters inside Blender for animation purposes. And then this is the first time I was like making hair for gang characters. I mm. never know that you have to like kind of attach it to the head. And then, oh, do you? Yeah. <laughs> And then like Captain made a lot of like different hair texture so that it's not that repetitive. Um and then have to attach them one by one, kind of like make the shape out. It took me a couple of I'm so of sorry. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's fine. It's like a learning process and maybe next time I can do a better job. Who knows? <laughs> um there was also the putting the makeup yeah, 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 on yeah. the characters. Because I don't or wear one, one of the characters, yeah. yeah. So it's like really hard to get it right oh, without knowing what's supposed to do what. <laughs> yeah. Um, you did a good job. Thank you. <laughs> it's nice. Um, okay, so hair was most difficult. Uh, what was your favorite it thing is, to make? It is a live bird. Yeah. Like a, even though I've never seen it in person, um, but then from all of the photos I saw online, live birds was just so cute. And then the feather, especially for the wings and the tail, it just looks so different. So I got to like sketch it out a little and then try to attach it to the bird. And then animating live, it was so much fun because I got to like, watch all of these live uh, videos online to kind of get a sense of how a live is supposed to move and then just animate it and then put it into Unity and see it like working in Unity. It's just so cute. It is. It is really cute. <laughs> um, did you, was there anything particular about how lyre birds like move or like carry themselves? I think that you they learned? jump a lot. Oh, uh, they're like hobby. Flying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the only thing I remember right now because it's been such a long time. But yeah, they jump a lot. Yeah. Very cute. And their tails are so cute. Yeah. And so long. Yeah. yeah. The, um, when I was living in, uh, the high country, um, which is where the game takes place, I didn't know what lyre birds were. And then, you know, they have these signs that say like, you know, watch out for kangaroos, watch out for koalas. And actually on one mountain road, there was like a watch out for lyre bird mm -hmm. sign that just had this like silhouette of a lyre bird with its ridiculous tail. Um, and I turned towards my partner and I was like, are they telling us to watch out for peacocks? <laughs> like I, I was so I was so confused um, what those were, but then once I found out uh, what they were, I was absolutely fascinated. Yep. The mimicry and I wish I just I didn't believe they were real. Yeah, I wish I would be able to see it once in real life. You will. Yeah. There, I've seen I've seen one now hiking. They're they're around. Okay, I've seen. Far more, um, I've seen more lyre birds in the wild than koalas. Oh, really? Yeah. I've seen like two koalas in the wild and like three or four lyre birds, I think. Okay. Yeah. So what are you most excited about? It's definitely play it in the end because I haven't gotten to play it just yet. I'm oh, not sure why, but it never works on my computer. Um, we'll set you up. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll be really glad to play in the end and like really discover what's really going on with the story because even though I've made all of this environment and character I still have no idea what's really happening <laughs> which is probably you have access to all the documents yeah, you can you can spoil it for I just yourself don't want to spoil it <laughs> yeah. um how do you feel about the farm <laughs> aspect I like it but I really want to like go back and fix some of the trees in the future oh. yeah yeah um the uh trees in the current demo, um, getting Australian trees as like a, basically as an asset you can purchase. Um, so, like we do most of the art ourselves, but um, as stand-in we have these purchased Australian trees and it's the exact one option on the market yeah. <laughs> uh, for it. And they're not quite right for Victoria, they're more like New South Wales, Queensland yeah. trees. Um, so yes, I would also like to redo the trees at some point. Yeah, but I really like to like walk into, 
like the farm scene and the forest scene is just so calm and relaxing for me. Um, Ben's put bird sounds in the forest now. <laughs> I really want to play now. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's been a little little insight into how we've got um, the art done. Um, give the demo a go and see the uh, see the farmhouse. Note how the roof meets the house and admire it. <laughs> yeah. Um, and explore these beautiful environments. Thank you. Thanks.